Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Clear Audience Truth Speaker Beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to another transmission. This is going to be a bonus reading for you all. This is the month of our beautiful Scorpios that are born in October and we're leading into, you know, the full-blown Scorpio season with the November Scorpio, so you know I have to I have to spoil you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have to gift you with an extra with a little bonus. You might get one more, you know, cuz 3 is a good number I like to work with. So you may get two now and then one towards the middle of the month or even um you know towards this the 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 um latter part of the month but anyway without further ado greetings to each and every one of you that may be new and this might be your first time tuning and tapping in i send a big thank you so much for tuning and tapping in uh, the way that things work on my side of the planet is I do uh, go by the name of Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I'm Q. Uh, but the way things work is I do listen to music uh, as I'm doing the readings and the name of the songs, lyrics within the songs, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively, as well as whatever the songs may be playing and the cards that may be showing. And it all just kind of blends very beautifully together. So my spiel here here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if it doesn't apply just let it fly by let it go let it flow never try to force anything to be your story beloved know that you're more than just your sun sign in fact it would behoove you to learn more and explore more about you by pulling up and generating your own natal chart if you check the description box below you will find a link which will allow for you to do just that uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video popped up in your feed, whenever you felt compelled to click play, <laughs> that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloved. Um, my spiel here, like I said, is, you know, eat the fish, spit out the bones, okay? Um, everything is going, isn't going to, to, um, be your story to the T, but there will be little nuggets, um, throughout the reading that may resonate. And those are the little nuggets that the, you know, source may have wanted you to pick up. So with all of the disclaimers, all of that said and done, we shall proceed with the read beloveds. But before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed. Our shape. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother guide, universe, source, the divine, to shine a beautiful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. So what we have on the Klizak is it is 423 and that reduces to 9. And the song that's playing on the playlist is My Lexity, and this is called It Will Be All Right. So My Lexity, It Will Be All Right. The number nine, which we know is the hermit. Um, 
The hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he or she seeks are found within. So this could be some self-talk. This could be you, you know, speaking your affirmations, meditating, um, you know, speaking positively into the ethers, into the universe, um, speaking with intention, speaking your powerful words out into the ethers um, is something that you may practice because you know how powerful the spoken word is, the tongue is. So you could be absolutely like saying, and mantras. Um, you could be speaking uh, certain scriptures, reading uh, your basic instructions before leaving earth. You're definitely connecting to and tapping into that Christ consciousness, into that God frequency, because that nine is a very spiritually astute energy. That is, uh, you know, very um, spiritually um, you know, uh, well-versed <laughs> type of individual. So someone who practices the occult, someone who kind of taps into their alchemical um, powers, someone who's um, very, you know, aware of their ability to manifest or to be that co-creator with source or to tap into that I imagination. So this is someone who is skilled, who is in tune, who is aware um, who's wise, who's like spiritually wise. Um, so that's what I feel is like, you know, with it will be all right. This could be, like I said, self-talk, just you, you know, repeating a certain mantra or just knowing, um, innately, intuitively, like everything is going to be just fine. It's already your right in your opinion. Um, you know, so there could be that element. The nine is also giving me a sense of like the nine of wands where there are boundaries established. And so you have to kind of like, you know, this is like you're, you're prepping yourself or you're kind of um, motivating yourself. So you have to repeat these mantras to, it's almost like you're programming yourself to believe these things so that you can overcome a certain bur burden or hurdle or obstacle and it's working you know because uh, it's making you spiritually stronger because you may be seeing in real time uh, certain uh, things manifest that nine is you know that is the highest number of change um, but it's also a number that speaks to birthing something new you know it takes nine months for a woman to birth a baby um, you know the nine is a very beautiful and feminine nine um, number as well because of that curvature so it's a beautiful energy of a divine feminine even it's all right you know that song just speaks to just like empowerment you know um but this is a beautiful energy right now we have ll cool j he's from queens new york and this is called around the way girl so this is like you know someone may see some of you feminines as just like real down to earth real cool in the gang chill you don't take yourself too serious you're not like all you know airheaded or kind of you know um conceited you know overzealous like you just you know you chill you and you have every right perhaps to come off in the ways that i you know describe but it's like you're just mad cool you're approachable is what i'm getting um you know you're you're just the one that you know maybe all the fellas like to be around um and all the women love to hate you because you just naturally attract you know that masculine energy because you're just so cool you're just you know, you're welcoming, you're real, you know, it's like you're a safe space almost. Um, but that doesn't take away your beauty and your attraction. Um, what we have now is King King. I was just saying how LL Cool J was from Queens. And now we have a song called King King. And this is MC Light featuring Queen Latifah. So yeah, it's almost like you both compliment each other. Whoever this is, you know, they may see you also as like that nine of cups, someone that, you know, is practicing that me, myself and I, that de la soul type of energy where you've learned from previous mistakes, which is how you are, you know, adorned a king, a queen or a goddess or a god, because you've had to experience certain things to, you know, align you with that title. And so now you have a king who is also kind of mirroring your energy um, in the way that makes it you know, where you both are made for each other. It's almost like there's some sort of wish fulfillment, you know, because I'm seeing the nine of cups, like I said, where you're kind of like me, myself and I energy. But by you really, you know, setting that intention and, and, and even 
you know, practicing self-discipline, self-love, um, because you know your self-worth, your self-value, it's like you're naturally going to attract what you are. You're going to attract it. You're attractive. And it's intriguing. It's mesmerizing. It's all of the aforementioned. So it's like there is definitely this, this alignment that's taking place, I feel. When I think of that nine, also, I see like the nine of pen pentacles, you know, someone could really see you as someone who's um, very, very independent. Uh, someone who's domestic, you may be a great mother or a great father. It's just, you know, um, you, you know how to cook very well, keep house. Um, you're just very nurturing, very grounding. You have a grounding and invite, inviting and lovable um, type of energy. A safe uh, space is something that people feel when they're in your presence. They don't feel like you're, you know, like looking at them with those analytical eyes. And, you know, they just feel like they're in a safe space. Like they could just, you know, with that around the way, girl. It's just like you're just a very cool person that they can, you know, have, um, you know, have that dialogue with, you know, um, where they can let their guard down to some degree. You know, that's a safe place when you feel like you could be vulnerable and that's just how they feel around you. Um, someone could be from Brooklyn, uh, New York. Someone could be from uh, New Jersey as well. Um <clears throat> So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. So that nine, as I said, you know, that is the number of the hermit. So many of you, we already know, been, you know, kind of doing those little self audits, um, self examination, even um, just looking at things internally, you know, really just kind of you know, kind of gauging where you are internally and then looking forward, you know, with optimism on, you know, your next steps, you know, because you've had the, you know, you've had the time to consider things. Um, you're not just rushing into anything. It's like you're going to take the necessary steps to assure some sort of victory or some sort of, um, some sort of uh, positive outcome, if you will. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. So we are going to first start off with the numerology deck, beloveds. You already know there goes the one new beginning. I love it. So that nine highest number of change, this one is starting off a brand new chapter. This is a new phase, new stage, a new you, a new perspective. This is a new environment, you know, a new career. Uh, you know, you could be in a new part of town, in a new state. It's a new beginning. You know, like this is all encompassing a new semester of college. You know what I'm saying? Like this is something brand new. This could be, you know, just your children's first year in school. You know, you know, maybe you are one year um, you know, separated or divorced and you're now having some beautiful, you know, fresh start where everything is balancing out, you know. This is a beautiful beginning, you know, something is taking action. We got TLC. What about your friends? Someone could be from Georgia. Someone could be from Maryland, Baltimore. Someone could be from, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. And as I said, with that TLC, I just get, you know, that strong sense of someone may see you as like, um, you know, very um, grounded, you know, I didn't even do the split, but look how that one is still there after all that shuffling. So they're giving me another opportunity. So maybe someone that you may have left behind is coming towards you for a new beginning because you saw how it just circled right back around. You know, what about your friends? This is someone that may have felt like you left them behind. This is a former friend. Maybe this is someone like, you know, maybe when this album came out, this is someone that you was friends with at that time. And you always friends up until a point you haven't heard from them since, you know, maybe this is someone that you, you both used to love TLC, listen to TLC, dress like TLC. You know what I'm saying? And I feel with 10 to 11 care, like this is someone you have roots with because, you know, they, 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 they perhaps maybe they feel like you're 10 to 11 and caring or they hope that you show them some sort of tender love and care. You know, with this one new beginning, let's see what's on the split. See, spiritual partnership. You know, I was questioning if this was like a person, you know, because I don't want it to always be about a person or love. I just want the cards to show what it is, but that's strongly what I was feeling because the title of the song, what about your friends? Now we got the spiritual partnership. 
So this could be a friend that you had like a real kindred connection with, you know, like a soul tie to, you know, or this could be a love ship, you know, someone that you may have a lot of synergy and chemistry. TLC had a lot of synergy as a as a group, you know. And I just think of them as like equally talented in that right. They could dance their behinds off. They was like, they was dancers, singers. They was cool. They was pretty. They was like able to be tomboyish, but still exude femininity. Maybe you were, you know, if you're a female, maybe you have a little tomboy in you to this day. Like even if you're mature, like you're not walking around in baggy, baggy clothes and scullies and tims, but you may still like be a little tomboyish. Might wear a hat to the back, a scully hat, you know, with your little leggings or your little, you know, uglies. The Uggs, I call them Uglies, you know. Um, but that's, I mean, I, I I have a pair of Uglies too. I just call them Uglies. But you they know they ugly. That's why they call them Uggs. I mean, what's Uggs short for? Short for? Like, <laughs> stop playing. Semantics, right? Like, let me stop. No, but like, you know, maybe you, you all were either like tomboys, you know, or maybe you still have that little tomboy in you where you will, you know, wear, wear a pair of sweats and some sneakers, you know. Um... Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this spiritual partnership along with New Beginning just makes me feel like this is like, you know, something coming full circle. Another opportunity. This is someone that, you know, obviously someone felt forgotten. Or this is something from the past. Because it's like, yo, what about your friends? Maybe this is, you know, something you're pondering, you know, because someone does come back, you know. Maybe someone is like, yo, what about me? Like, what about us? Like, what about this? You know, like, whatever. You know, like... But there is a question about this, and it's apparently something very spiritual. And remember, we started the reading with nine, and this is 27 nine. So that was the first thing I said was like, you're spiritually strong, and you could be assessing something. So maybe you're going within to question whether or not, you know, something is worth a second shot, the second chance. And we have Shay Noir, and this is called Praises. So I do feel like, you know, with that praises, I do get a sense because I just see like universe and source. When I hear praises, I think of the most high spirit universe kind of like rewarding you. You know, I feel like you'll be singing praises because you'll be thankful for the way something turns out or for something um, that you'll find out or something you will receive. I feel like it will be, you know, almost like a blessing. Um, but I do feel strongly a lot of you all are being rewarded. I feel like there's something you're receiving and you're going to get like, you're going to sing praises. You're going to be thankful. You're going to, you know, be jumping up and down and, and like gratitude, you know, to the most high, to your angels, to, you know, whomever this is. But let's tap in and see. Let's see what the cards have to say. Someone could be from Buffalo, New York. That's where Shay, Shay Noir is from, Buffalo. Thank you, Spirit. I feel good with that shuffle. That was a real good shuffle. And these cards feel very light. I like when the cards are light. So I know there's no staggering energy. You know, sometimes these cards get very heavy when you do readings. That's why I always Palo Santo or Sage my cards. Or I'll place my stones on them, my crystals. Bottom of the deck is your overall energy. And we have the number 56, Relationship Change. So what did I say? I wasn't trying to go there, but... Apparently, that's where we got to go <laughs> with this relationship um, change. Someone could be coming in and praising praising you, you know, because we got this um, song praises here. And with relationship change, um, I mean, it could be a love ship. It could be a friendship. You know, it could be a work ship, partnership. So this could be any type of ship. It's not very... Um, clear as to whether this is love so I don't want to jump the gun but with the change there's something changing I feel for the better and as I said it's, it's gonna the result is gonna be like astounding I'm hearing because you're gonna be singing your praises you're gonna be you're gonna be like in a space where you are um, you know just like thankful you know you're gonna be very thankful um, you know for whatever this is and how um, However, it comes in. My list just got all jacked up, so I got to go back to where I was. Oh, this is so annoying. 
I hit the wrong button, so it just kind of reset my playlist. It's all good. No, there are no accidents. But, you know, with the 11 individuality and the 56, these are both 11, 11, so this can very well. And I just saw 1919, which is 10, 10. And so with this energy, the 11, 11, 10, 10, perhaps there were some, you know, karmic lessons that you and whomever this person is that's coming towards you are, you know, or were breaking. Like you were breaking yokes, hexes, spells, um, generational curses. But there were some sort of karmic lessons being learned and you were closing out karmic cycles. So that is the reason why there was that hermit energy where you were in isolation or you were in seclusion, you know, kind of working on yourself in incubation, whatever it is, it's a state of repair. It's a state of self-examination, as I said, self-discovery. And, you know, then you could start looking at things, um, you know, more, you know, with more of a general scope of what it is you want after you sift through whatever it was you've experienced because the nine like I said is that energy of kind of you know going through those internal self audits with the relationship change I feel that's why um, something may have changed because with the, the overall energy relationship change I feel that your dynamics with certain individuals um, it will change you know for some they will get, improve and strengthen and with others they may you know kind of um, they may kind of decline, you know, uh, you know, and this is because there's a shift taking place, you know, everyone can't go to the next level with you. And I just strongly feel like there's going to be those type of shifts where certain people are going to kind of drop out of your life, you know, um, and s new people are going to start entering into your life. Um, and these are connections that I feel are very, um, they are because we had that spiritual partnership card and I just feel like this is almost like you're equal, you know, like you're equals, equal give and take um, people on the same frequency, on the same wavelength like minds, like that type of equal. That's the type of energy. I feel like there's going to be a lot of shifts taking place. This also can be love, um, a twin flame. You know, the twin flame connection is one that goes through a lot of that startling metamorphosis, the deaths, the hurts, the pains, navigating, you know, the disappointments and the the rejection or the betrayals and, and coming to a place where you, you meet again to you know, make the ultimate decision. And it's so it's one that you have to make from a space of um, you know, knowingness. You now have to, to choose wisely, as they say, because that's why, you know, this this fifty six breaks down to two. So there's obviously a decision that's being weighed and being made ultimately. Um and with this individuality, it just clearly shows you chose yourself. You know, uh, you realize that, you know, you cannot be a part of or entangled in things that are going to eventually crash and burn. You had to do the math and do the knowledge for yourself. And you you saw that it was more um, it was more wise of you to part ways from situations opposed to just drowning, um, you know, and, and in doing that, that led to your perseverance because this 11 breaks down to four and that just shows perseverance in my eyes, stability, strength, sturdiness, like you were tried and tested. You had to, you know, things could have been destroyed, but you rebuilt on a more solid foundation. And that's what makes you solid. That's what makes you someone, um, you know, that... <clears throat> The um, I forgot what they were singing, but it was like, you know, they were looking at you as the queen and the king, you know, so that shows self mastery that shows this energy of like, you know, strength and leadership. Um, very beautiful energy. So this 56 relationship change uh, for some of you, you know, you may also go from being single if you are single into a partnership like you may have someone that very well may communicate or express love. This may be very shocking because um, I do feel like there's some some shocking news or some surprising news. Um, it will be shocking and it will be surprising because I just get a sense of like maybe someone is confessing something uh, to another person as well, especially with the 1111 here. But this individuality is what has made you very solid because you've focused on healing yourself. And I feel the person or whoever you're attracting to you is also in a very mirrored energy, working on themselves, learning from their trials and their tribulations um, and 
overcoming those things, you know, having breakthroughs in their lives. And now they're at the precipice of a new start and have to make the very same change that you need to make. And they may very well uh, be walking away from someone to be single uh, in the same, very, you know, the same way that you may have, have had to in the past. Um, but this is a very mirrored energy. So let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And what we have playing right now is Jodeci. And this is called I'm Still Waiting. So someone is still waiting on you, waiting on a phone call, waiting on an opportunity. This is someone that's been waiting, so they're not taking action. And that's literally what the, you know, the hermit is. The hermit, you know, if you're in a hermit mode and someone's waiting for you to take action, then this could be the reason why they're still waiting. Um, or if this is someone who is also in some sort of um, confused state where they're trying to make a decision, um... You know, they are still waiting. So look at this 81 leadership. That's another nine. And then we have eight manifestation, which is what flew out when we were clarifying or when we were pulling the card for who or what you're attracting to you. So you could be, you know, waiting for something that you're manifesting because we have Jodeci singing, I'm still waiting. Maybe someone is waiting on manifesting you. This is someone who is trying to like call you in, draw you in. Maybe this is someone who's been speaking those mantras or setting, you know, some sort of intention or meditating. This is someone attempting to manifest. Maybe this is someone taking action. This is like a wish fulfillment, something coming into fruition. With this 8 and this 56 that breaks down to 10, that's the wheel. The wheel of fortune in traditional tarot is the 10. So that means there is a turning point. There is something moving. You know, remember when we first touched these cards, we saw a new beginning. So that 10, that this 56, that breaks down to 11, which is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then the 8, that's 10. So the wheel of fortune, something's turning. So something is turning. The wheel is turning. And there's a fresh start. Um, there's a definitely a fresh start. And it's because, you know, now you're taking the reins and going after everything you want. You have this ambition. You have this drive. You are focused. You know, it's like you are on the hunt for whatever it is that you, what you desire. It's like you're going after it. Fearlessly, relentlessly, you know, you're, you're, you're going after it. And it's like, whatever this is you're manifesting, you know, you may have felt like you have been waiting a long time for something, but I feel like it's coming. Like, I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of answer to one of your prayers, a blessing that's coming through. And I need to, give me one moment, my phone is about to die. All right, my bad. <laughs> I had to get it together. So yeah, that eight manifestation, this is who or what you're attracting to you. And like I said, we got this 81 leadership that breaks down to the nine. So this is how you get into that role, you know, of that leader, that boss is because you have that time to take those internal self audits, to do your reflection, your introspection, to do that internal work. And that's how you're able to take action and go after what you want to implement the change, to implement, you know, whatever it is that you're pursuing. So let's tap in. So how does this person or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I definitely can see they are attracted to you. And um, because this 10 is a very felicious number. And we also have uh, personal growth. So they have watched you transform. Um, this is someone that watches you. This is someone that is very much... Um, you know, in tune with what you have going on. So I don't know if you have like social media where people can follow you, follow your story, or if you upload photos, um, maybe someone is watching you th through those means, or maybe there is someone just kind of like in the shadows, um, you know, that kind of watches you um, through other means that you are unaware of. Um, it's just a way for them to kind of keep tabs and, and keep, to keep abreast with what's going on with you. With the 91 surrender, I could see someone is holding back. What's hidden is whoever is holding back that's trying to fight it, you know, because remember we saw 1919. This is 91 reverse. That's 19. So that's 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 that energy, you know, of, you know, when someone is is kind of resisting being stubborn, um, 
you know, really because the pride card is the 19th card in this in this deck, which is why I'm expounding on the number 19. So that is a mirrored number to this, which means that whoever's being very egotistical or proud, they are now going to, you know, surrender and give up the need to, you know, to, to, to hold on or to, to stay stuck in a, a way of thinking or, you know, in a, a certain pers like lack of mentality. It's like they're finally going to like surrender because I feel this shift that has taken place with you the changes that you've made is opening someone else to the idea of change so they're going to surrender this is someone who's very used to being a certain way stuck in their ways you know this is someone it's very hard to get them to kind of to to change things about themselves because you know they're so stuck in their ways but this is absolutely someone that becomes inspired by watching your transformation with this number seven this is how they feel about you you know with the seven the personal growth they see you as wise you know they see you as someone very spiritual you know they see you as someone that seven the crown you know that's someone who is very wise very articulate very in tune very nurturing and loving you know this is someone very very down to earth very connected um even to mother gaia daughter earth you may present as someone who's an old soul if you're younger um you know and if you are older and have lived life you are someone who's seen as very like spiritual uh, people may gravitate to you you have a very magnetic energy where people tend to gravitate people are kind of like um you know almost like um you know they, they're just like intrigued there's something about you you know and people may just you know they may naturally just share that with you um you know, like, oh, my God, there's just something about you. I just love your personality or it's just something about you that it just feels so familiar. Like you just so you're so cool or like whatever it is. It's like that. That is the type of energy that you exude, you know, and you're, you're seen as solid. There's a lot of solid cards. And with this eight and this 56, that's 10. That's one, one and seven. That's eight. This person could be now trying to muster up the strength. They see you as strong. So you may really be someone that they might feel is very guarded because I see the seven of wands. Because usually when you do grow through certain experiences, you will be very naturally protective of yourself, your energy, who you allow in your cipher. So you may be like kind of like, you know, you, you, ain't, you ain't playing games. <laughs> you know, your walls are up, you know, like you're not you're not playing those type of games. Uh, so they could be mustering up the strength to approach you. You know, they see you as strong. You you are just exuding strength, confidence, beauty, you know, power, wisdom, love. Like you exude these these strengths. You take control of your own self-consciousness, like your own subconscious rather not self-conscious but your own subconscious like you're in control you know i just see like positive movements forward like things are moving positively for you and it's from your hard work it's from your efforts this person sees you and wants to collaborate they want to build you know they, this is someone that wants to build. They want to collaborate. They want to, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they see you as someone that they can, you know, have that, you know, that uh, sacred bond, that connection, that spiritual partnership. Like I said, there's a synergy and a chemistry going on. We have Maze, Rising Power King. And this is called, I want to thank you. So a lot of gratitude, you know. What's hidden is someone is, is giving a lot of gratitude. You know, 3333 three, three, three on the clock. So the angels, your ascended masters are, you know, absolutely hearing, you know, the prayers and the petitions. Whatever, it's, you know, you're speaking into the ethers, your angels are receiving those messages. And that could be the reason, you know, maybe someone has been praying and just thinking, you know, that when you wake up, and do a gratitude prayer, you know, that, that right there shifts 
you know, your, your whole reality. Because you are acknowledging the greatness, the, the reasons to be thankful. So you create more reasons, you know. And you will surrender to that old ideology and belief system, you know, that sees the world, you know, sees yourself as a victim or sees yourself in some, some lack, you know, perspective or in a low vibration or in... You know, it's like your whole reality sh changes, shifts. And with this one, that becomes nine yet again. So it takes that, those growing pains for you to mature, for you to finally surrender. Because that nine is what we get from this extra one. Remember these cards reduced to eight. That's where I was getting the strength and the positive movements forward and you working very hard to get to this place where you, you know, are presently at. Because I saw the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and also that Eight of Wands movement forwards. But I'm seeing here with the surrender, this is a one that makes it nine. That's what you did, you know. That's being in a hermit mode. That's being, you know, in a, a space of solitude, you know, being in a place where you could collect your thoughts. Where you can meditate to get it straight. Do some self-examination, self, you know, discovery, you know, internal self-audits, as I said earlier. Like, that's the time. Those That moment of silence, of pause, allots you that opportunity to connect with your higher self. To collaborate with your higher self. To tap into that God frequency. That's how you become spiritually stronger, you know. That's why you are seen as... Someone who is very, very much like a a sorcerer of sorts. So with this 91 with hidden, someone may very well take action. Because that 91 breaks down to 1. Breaks down to 10, which becomes 1. So that's that new beginning. Closing out a cycle even. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. It's definitely been, uh, you know, a struggle, a journey. Because Maze, you know, is the group that Frankie Beverly, um, you know, sung with. And uh, Maze can be very confusing. A lot of twists, turns, dead ends. But you never give up and you never gave up. And that's how you were able to get to the finish line. But we got this 13 transformation which is also the number of the death card in traditional tarot. But we see clearly your efforts. That's why I was picking up wish fulfillments, blessings, answered prayers, you know, because of your efforts. You went through and grew through a lot of, you know, um, you know, painful circumstances. But it taught you valuable lessons nonetheless. What's hidden is you have love here. So this sixth love is giving the lovers... You know, so this could be like someone from the past. I was definitely picking that up with the song that was playing earlier. I was getting a sense of someone from the past because it was um, uh, it was TLC. What about your friends? And with this six, I'm getting like the six of cups. Someone who could be reminiscing. You know, this is that same energy. Like, what about me? Someone coming back from the past. You know, and so you have to kind of. You know, meditate to get it straight because the six is also associated with your first guy. So there is, you know, as I said earlier, a decision, a choice that you may have to make where you may have to choose. And there could be options or there could be just a yes or no answer that you may have to choose which course, which action, which next steps. And this eight and six becomes 14. That breaks down to five. And so what's hidden is I do feel like there's someone that's going to communicate or express their love because the five deals with the throat chakra. So someone could be expressing how much they love you. And that's what I was kind of feeling also with some of the songs that was playing earlier. So with this six love, someone's definitely going to be, you know, kind of expressing love. But I feel spirit is just telling you, use your intuition or trust your intuition. Because this could be, um, this could be someone kind of challenging you. This could be someone that's like coming in with, with um, 
not so good intentions because I'm seeing like the five of swords where someone's rushing in for a battle, for a fight or trying to, you know, outsmart another person, outwit another person and they could use love bombing or they could use your big heart as a way to try to exploit you or take advantage and I just feel like just use your intuition with the five I also feel like perhaps um, someone could be presenting a more mature version of themselves because this all breaks down to five here and now they can emote and express how they're feeling. Now they can, um, you know, kind of admit and be honest because they've done the work. They've matured. The five is given the hierophant. So this is someone who's who's been learning. This is someone who's been going through a process of learning, of um, maturing, of evolving. And now they are communicating with you. They could be sending messages telepathically preparing you because there is some intimidation as they do see you as someone who is like very regal, royal, whether you're divine feminine or masculine. But there will be a conversation, communication, you know, or an expression of love. If this isn't love, this could be just some great news that's going to make you feel a lot of love, emotional fulfillment, even wish fulfillment. You know, this could be in relation to, to something skill that you've been honing, a gift, you know, something that you have been like mastering. This is really rooted in your scholarly energy or tutelage where you're building knowledge, where you're studying under someone or just studying. Maybe you're in school, in classes, um, whatever this is, I feel there are rewards that you will um, you will receive because of all of that hard work and effort you put into building that your wealth of knowledge in that area. So now you've become a master of sorts. You know, this is beautiful. And, and as we can see, you know, you didn't shy away from any work, you know, having to put in the grunt work, the foot work, the brain work, that brain power. It could be more arduous than all the other aforementioned, you know, but you put forth the effort, you know, and this is what transformed you also, because it's like you put all of that, the intensity of those emotions, you know, from whatever you experienced in that, that past, in that that cycle that you were closing out. It's like you put all of those those emotions, the intensity of those emotions and all of that pain and you just kind of chiseled it into something um, very beautiful, you know? And this just makes you more attractive in the eyes of others and, you know, even a divine masculine um, is just becoming more aware of the love and the passion, you know, that they have, you know. Perhaps there was a masculine that was heartbroken or that may have broken someone's heart, you know, in the process of someone, um, you know, because, you know, that's why, and that's the reason why someone went through a transformation because of the heartache, you know, but that pain was turned and transformed into power. We have Don Cherry. This is relatively sweet. This was in 1973. Someone could have been born in 1973. This could be the person that is tuning and tapping in or the person you're dealing with. That 1973 becomes 11. And remember, we have the 1156 uh, relationship change card. This could be the other half of that 1111 we saw earlier. So all the cards are face down. And there's only one that flew separate from the others. And that is your message. I heard 32 music is playing. So we have again Don Cherry. Someone's name could be Don or Cherry first, middle, or last. Someone could be allergic to cherries or someone used to eat a lot of cherry ice cream. With relativity, I feel like there is some, like something is, um, there's some sort of cohesive storyline between you and another person. So something that is in relation to this song, because we even have the music card that popped out. So for some of you, there is some 
some connection to either the name Don. So someone's name could be Don, Donald, Donnie, Donovan, Donahue. Someone could, could have watched Donahue show. Someone could have been born, like I said, in 1973. Someone named Don could have popped someone's cherry. Pardon my language, but that's literally how I heard it. I feel someone was very sweet, you know. Someone was very sweet. Or someone loves, you know, um, cherries, like cherry ice cream, cherry soda, cherry flavored ices, like cherries. Four, 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 four on the clock. This is someone you had a very strong chemistry synergy with. Because I feel like this is someone your angels, your ancestors are aligning you with. And we see psychedelic here. So someone could be into like funk. Someone could be someone who um, has gone to shamans for like ayahuasca, um, medicine, toad medicine, um, philocybins. Um, mushroom, someone could be a psychonaut, like, th th like someone is really like, you know, um, doing those type of, um, healings, you know, the plant-based healings. I feel like there's something that you and this person that you're attracting to you, there's something very relatable about the two of you. Something that where your stories, you know, are very like they they're very relative you know something about the and it's almost like you know it's a very um it's something unique you know which is what draws the two of you you know because when i think of the 11 that breaks down to the two of cups to me i see like the two of cups of course there's a decision initially but i feel like ultimately the two of cups because i see this relativity you know i think of like this connectivity, this synergy, this chemistry that you and this person will have because of whatever commonalities or familiarities you share. And this is like a beautiful, beautiful connection, especially with the six love for what's hidden. That's like, you know, that yin and yang energy, because when you think of that, there's an angelic figure that oversees that union. And we just saw 4444, and I was speaking to the alignment that takes place. These all break down to five. The card that we've yet to flip over for the overall energy is the 71, the health card. So this health card, that breaks down to eight. So health, when I see the 71 health, the, the first thing I think of is like mental anguish, stress, anxiety, overthinking, because I think of like the eight of swords, you know, this is all self-imposed. This is what someone is feeding themselves. That is the narrative. And that's what I was breaking down earlier when I was like, you know, you got to, um, you know, th th there's no lack mentality. You can't have that lack mentality when you are, you know, when you are um, growing through your journey, you have to kind of like feed those positive affirmations and mantras those, you know, um, rituals, those, I mean, those prayers, um, those scriptures, um, those are the things you have to speak to strengthen yourself, to put that armor, the fiery wall of protection around you as well. But I see here also strength also, you know, someone's health could be improving. Um, if there were some confusion or if there was some anxiety, if someone is struggling or um, suffering from like headaches and I'm hearing migraines, you know, very intense headaches. Um, those could have been like downloads, you know, because we have this five and the eight that breaks down the 13. And remember, we just saw the 13, which was effort. And so these could be like you are um, receiving some sort of download because the seven in 71 deals with the crown and then the one deals with the root. So, you know, there are very strong indications that you have leveled up and graduated and so you are in the space where you could be receiving a lot of downloads a lot of transmissions a lot of updates you know um that could be taking place which is why your cerebral seems to be very sensitive at this time 
um, whether you're getting dull headaches, whether you're having migraines, those could be also signs, um, you know, that you are receiving some higher transmission, if you will. So um, it also like limit your um, exposure to like computers and things of that nature at that time uh, and cover your eyes at night when you rest because um, that helps you to go into a really uh, um, a nice deep rest uh, which is what we need, you know, and that also can kind of like, you know, rejuvenate us because we can get into a deeper rest opposed to just being in like that, that, you know, that beta. We want to get into the delta state. <laughs> you know, that's where we could get that good, good rest. But I digress. So with the 71 health, um, I'm strongly feeling like, you know, someone is is getting stronger. Someone is absolutely um, recovering if there were some sort of you know uh, surgeries or operations uh, that some of you underwent whether it was like oral dental um, or something physical um, even if there were like little small cosmetic things um, I feel like you're getting stronger or you're healing quite nicely uh, with 32 still on the bottom of the deck this is a full album so I'm going to skip to the next song and we have um what is this? Your old Droog, and this is BDE featuring Mac Homie and MF Doom. Okay, so Mac Homie and MF Doom, and it says your old Droog. So someone from the past, 32 Music, MF Doom, and that word is sticking out. I don't know if it's because that's like one of the main words. That's all caps. MF Doom is Doom is a producer, so some of you could be producers. He's like a you know an artist, um, so he rhymes, he plays instruments, he's a producer. So some of you all could be doing the same. You may uh, be in music in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Maybe maybe even musical theater. I heard in my mind's eye, like some of you could be in like musical theater. Like music is your passion. I'm hearing music is my first love. So some of you may you know have had. You know, a somewhat promising career, but you chose, um, you know, maybe some of you got pregnant and you chose to have your child and it kind of, you know, took away from a career you could have, you feel like you could have thrived in. And so maybe some of you are revisiting that. Maybe there is a, you know, something you're honing, maybe you're writing more, maybe you are um, in the studio helping another developing artist. You know, but you're still involved. I see like you still got your little antennas, you know, your little, your little uh, what do you call it, tentacles and everything, you know, but you have a love, a passion for music. I really feel like some of you are really good with sm spoken word, you know, you're very deep, like your lyrics are deep, like you don't just, you know, it's like when you write, it's like, it's almost like um, you write almost in a way where it's... um. It's like you want people to like to um, reveal the meaning almost. Almost like I'm getting like crossword, you know, like a crossword puzzle. It's like you write with hidden messages, if that makes sense. Even if you are a hip hop artist, a writer, like a, you know, an MC, the way you write is you may have double entendres and, you know, um, you know, just just a different um, way to, you know, to, to write. It's a more, like, competitive way to write a rhyme. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's very intricate is what I'm getting. This isn't like your typical, you know, this isn't your typical um, type of artist. And, and when you look, I see, like, there's a police. This is, like, back in the... It looks like the the 80s when I look at the buildings. That's like New York back in like the 80s, and there's a police car like on its um on its uh, hood on its um it's turned upside down or whatever. <sighs> so things I don't know, cause I'm getting like with the eight. You know, maybe some of you all could have been in an accident, a car accident, and the car turned over and flipped upside down. And that's why you're healing, recovering. That's what I'm getting. If that is the truth, the case, like, you know, um, I, you know, I'm sending healing energies to you. We got love partnership and healing. As I said, I'm sending healing energies to you, the healing 
card shows up. So I feel some of you all could have been in a car accident because this just kind of like just made me really focus on the car that's turned upside down, which happens to be a police car. I don't know if someone was in a, a police chase and the car flipped over. Whatever the case may be, like I said, I hope that's something separate from what I'm about to break down. But Spirit was telling me to look at the car for whatever reason. And when I did, that download came in. And we were just, you know, uh, clarifying or building on the the 81, I mean the 71 health. Pardon me. I'm like all tongue twisted and tongue tied. But yeah, so this 32 is telling me look at the music, but it was also giving me a sense of like some of you could be honing your skill in music. Maybe you are building a studio. Maybe you are a writer. Maybe you are a rap, you know, um, a hip hop artist, an MC. Maybe you are in, like I said, theater, music theater, arts, like you are honing some sort of skill, gift, and talent you know, that you are mastering it. Um, we also have the love partnership. And this is eight. So this is someone that's going to give to you equally. This also could speak to like someone seeing you as a wish fulfillment, seeing you as a blessing, a dream come true. Maybe someone's ideal person they're looking at you as. Um, we have Heavy D and the Bloys. And this is Black Coffee. And Black Coffee is a movie um, I believe with Pam Greer and she is known as like very sexy, like that foxy, you know, lady from the 70s. Um, so with Heavy D and the boys, someone could be from Mount Vernon. Someone's name could start with D, Dominic, Damon, Donald, Donnie, Don, Donovan. Um, I'm hearing Diane, Deanna, Denise. Davis, I'm hearing Dottie, Dot, Derek, David, I said that, yeah, so with the healing, absolutely on the bottom, you know, on the bottom of the deck, um, you know, like I said, you know, this is just that energy of showing, you know, that something you could have walked away from, you know, to heal because the eight is given like the eight of cups. When you walk away from something, it's because you poured into it only to receive very little, if anything, in return. And so you move on, you know, that eight is you kind of take an action. That's the, I, I could love me you know, myself and I better than anyone, you know, it's like you're pouring and pouring into empty, you know, empty vessels, you know, because there's holes on the bottom. So it's a faulty vessel to begin with. And so after you felt depleted, you're moving on. And this time you're moving on to bigger and better. So there's this optimism, there's this excitement, you know, and all of those good deeds, all of the seeds that you sowed into that relationship, they will still harvest because universe is always watching. So this is the number eight, which is the infinity symbol. We'll go Goes around comes back around again and we just saw 56 56 on the clock so as i said what goes around comes back around again so you and a twin flame a soulmate someone that you have lost contact with is coming back into union because this is like a star this is an answered prayer this is someone who set intentions sent up prayers petitions could have been calling on their angels and guides to assist with something this love partnership is blossoming so there's going to be some sort of answered prayer i was feeling emotional fulfillment but now i'm feeling like this hope and this optimism with the 66 healing this is why the love can come because there's been healing not only on your part but also on the part of the person that you now have have watching you because the 66 breaks down to 12 which is the hangman so they're looking at you in a different light see you in a new lens and now they realize that they could have this broken heart because they are really truly desiring you more and more they're realizing you know that they want to take action uh they are trying to you know kind of muster up the strength courage and wisdom because that 12 breaks down to three but they also see you as an empress which is why there could be a little hesitation or why there could be a little apprehension on their part because they see you as someone who's very sexy, uh, someone who is like a badass, like, you know, like you are very much confident, you're strong, you're down to earth. So it's just like, you know, they can still be intimidated. Um, so we got these messages. I was about to pull an extra card and I was going to do that, but I'm going to put it back because I don't want to you know, make the reading too long for you. So let's tap in and see what the psychic cards have to say on the bottom of the, look at that victory and success, beloveds. 
And I was picking up that there was going to be some answered prayers, some blessings coming through on the split. We got foundations and achievements. So we have this number six, it's number four that breaks down to 10. That's the wheel. So beautiful things are turning for you. Things are turning around. You're getting your just due, you know, and this has a lot to do with good karma, good deeds paying off, good efforts paying off. You know, when you treat people good, you get good in return. You're going to be singing. Remember the praises, you know, the victories and success. You're going to be praising, you know, your angels and your guides, thanking them. And they're acknowledging and praising you. You got blue magic here. And it says, teach me how to love. And so that's what those growing pains were. It was to teach you how to love thyself. Love is an inside job first. And so look at that. The light, the hope, the optimism. That's another 19. This breaks down. This is the sun card. So that breaks down to 10 again. And then you have the four. And this is the happy family card. That foundations and this. And what did I say about someone wanting to work together to collaborate? Because they see you as their divine counterpart. This 19. That 19 is the sun. The sun is the sun that shines within. And what did I say? You're, you're walking in faith now. You know, you see the light. You see the truth. Someone also can see the truth in you or the truth of the matter. And with the blue, the blue magic reference, and these cards break down to five. The five deals with the throat chakra. So someone is going to express something. Someone is going to communicate, you know, to you. They're going to ask you to teach them how to love. Because the four and that ten, which breaks down to one, that's the five. So they could express, you know, these feelings, these emotions. They're going to definitely... Um, confess <clears throat> their love for you is what I'm hearing as well. This is someone who has matured because with the five, the five deals with the Hierophant. And that's, again, we broke that down earlier with the eight, you know, and the um, that six and that eight energy. And so we got the one that's one, eight. 13, 4. So that's the 4. That breaks down to 4. So persevering, you know, overcoming, you know, receiving, you know, that sense of self-love, self-worth, or working hard to acquire self-love, self-worth, self-value by utilizing self-discipline. So overall energy we're clarifying is 56, relationship change, and we have the trapped in fear, and that's the number 8. And what did I say about someone having anxieties, stress, over compromising or over over complicating things is what I meant to say. You know, this is someone who is self. This is like self composed mental anguish because they're not communicating, emoting. You know, this is someone just sitting in their own thoughts and it has created a prison for them. So the mind could be the devil's playground if you allow it to. This could be them stressing over the relationship, you know, meeting its demise and ending of a relationship. Someone trying to choose. And this is causing heartbreak because this 8 and this 56, that breaks down to 10. So that's the ending. Something is coming to a conclusion. And this is someone who very well may realize, like, you know, they kind of self-sabotaged. You know, they, they, they kind of made a boo-boo. They pump faked out here, you know. And now they're regretting. This is regret. You know, this is a feeling of regret. So that 8 and that 56, that 10. So something ending. But this is also someone who may want things to turn around. You know, which is why they have this conflict. You know, and this fear. Fear is false expectations appearing real. So they can really be trapped in a place where it's negative self-talk. You can't do this. They won't want you. They're not going to want to talk or they're going to blow up on you. It's going to turn into a shit show. Like they could be just sitting there, you know, writing and producing their own horror film. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like it's not reality, sir, unless you kind of stamp that, you know, stamp that approval on there, which is your spoken word and your beliefs. So we have the authority figure, which is the emperor. So this right here, that number four, <clears throat> we're about to clarify 
who and what you're attracting to you and that's manifestation and that's absolutely what this divine masculine does is a master manifester he knows how to turn his thoughts into reality this is the very definition and epitome of a leader of a master you know of many skills you know this is a go-getter this is someone that doesn't take no for an answer this is someone that's you know goes sets out to succeed and they are moguls you know this is a father this is a very devoted and protective um you know leader as well so who or what you're attracting to you could be your divine you know you know counterpart some your sacred you know like your your kindred spirit that spiritual partnership that we were speaking of earlier you know so why is this eight manifestation here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them let me get a message peace power and protection thank you spirit and we have on the bottom of the deck new beginnings yet again so that's a confirmation this is what's on the bottom of the deck when we pull how this person who or what you're attracting to you feel about you so we can see they want to take a leap they want a new start they want to rekindle you know because the zero is the fool so this is someone that wants to close the door on the past and start afresh anew you know, and um, and look, this card is kind of peeking out when I put it down. This is how it spread out. And this is the solitude. Remember, we started the reading with the nine, which is the hermit. So this is what you've been doing. And look what you've generated. You know, you've manifested some sort of blessing. And remember, we had, um, I've been waiting or something like that. And, um, and, I, and the, you know, manifestation card came out so something you could have been manifesting calling in drawing in you know and you've learned a lot look at all these mountains behind you so this is someone like i said who is very spiritually strong you're all tapped into the god frequency you know how to manifest you know how to set intention you know how to make that connection something told me to look at that so we're going to go ahead so who what you're attracting to you we have this awareness so this is the magician. So someone could be absolutely tapping into their imagination to manifest another person. Someone is definitely spiritually strong as well because that one in the eight breaks down the nine. That is yet again that nine that we started the reading with. So this is someone who is trying to make some sort of connection, a, 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 like a a mental connection they could be telepathically communicating with you they could be intuitively communicating with you but this is someone who is also utilizing the elements around them of water fire earth air ether and this is to manifest some desired outcome whoever this is they're very much aware and that's how I was describing you Scorpio so I feel strongly this is your energy like you're tapping into your power like you're realizing your power, just how much you can change your reality. Because maybe you started to take those gifts seriously and you were able to change some things in like no time. And so now you're realizing, wow, I actually, you know, have some gifts here and I'm going to start using my powers for good. So you could really be like, you know, as I said earlier, like honing your skills, mastering your craft, but there is some download. You can see the crown is wide open. And so this is like those downloads I was picking up, downloads, upgrades, transmissions. Some of y'all could have been having headaches and this is why, because you're receiving this one is a channel. That's, that's the way, you know, the downloads can come straight through the crown. And we have method man bring the pain as I'm talking about headaches. So spirit is saying that, you know, you're being tried and tested. You know, this is what this is. And I just changed the video. My bad. Oh, my God. I changed it twice. Oh, this is so annoying. Pardon me. I'm screaming all in y'all ear. But that's so annoying because I literally. It's like it keeps changing. Anyway, it was Method Man bring the pain. And then I touched the thing. And now it's like doing these weird. Let me just go here. And I got to do this all over again. All right, so now we got Willie Hutch, and this is I Can Show Give You Love, and this is 1977. Some of y'all could have been born in the year 1977, or 1977 is the year this person 
um, you know, whoever's energy I'm picking up on. That's the year they could have been born. Um, but yeah, you know, I feel like you're also attracting someone who is very spiritual as well. Because remember, we had spiritual partnerships. So that means the both of you are highly spiritual. So you could be attracting a like-minded individual that is also, um, you know, into the occult. Um, you know, they're a magician in their own right. You know, very much aware. Uh, this is also how they see you. Is someone also who stands on their square. And you know how to make some things happen as well. Like, you've grown personally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally um, throughout your journey. And even this shows you've been on a journey, you know, and you still got some fight. And um, that could be the reason why you may come off very guarded because of all you've been through. Because uh, remember, I was seeing like the seven of wands with this. Um, but they do want to take a leap, you know, of faith. They want to, you know, try again. Or this is someone that just wants to um, kind of be spontaneous, just jump out there, you know. But let's tap in and see. Why is the seven personal growth here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them and how they feel about our beloved Scorpios? With Willie Hutch, someone's name could be Willie or Hutch. With I Could Show, Give You Love, this is someone that's trying to convince you that they can love you, you know. As I said, with that 77, that 14, 5, Katara just scratched the mess out of me. Hey, baby love. Come here, my friend. You scratched me so bad. <laughs> you got the 1977. So that breaks down to 14, 5. And then that 5 and 1 is 6. So remember, we had the 6. Remember what's hidden. The 6, the love. So that's the 6 on the board. You know, so this is that person. Like I said, somebody could have been born in 1977. Someone could have been born on um, October 29th. October 26th. October 25th. October 24th, 11-11, 11, 11, November 11th, November 8th, November 5th, 6th, 7th, 1st. Those are the numbers I'm seeing. You could be a life path number 2, 5, 6, 8, 7, 1, Okay, and we got the partnerships and alliances. Didn't I say someone wants to kind of build? They want to collaborate. They want to partner with you because they see you as their ideal, a like mind, a common, you know, someone that they have a lot in common. They could have equal give and take. And this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck when we pull personal growth, how they feel about you. And so with partnerships and alliances, this is someone that wants to work together. This is something that's coming full circle. Yet again, we got another 10, the 7, and the 3. This is something destined. I feel like this is something that will be written in the stars. And this is someone that is really going to be very supportive. And this is someone that is going to convince you that they, you know, they could give you love because they're going to show you better than they could tell you. And they may very well be kind of mustering up the strength, courage, and wisdom. Look what we got playing. As I said, strength, courage, and wisdom. Because the three deals with the solar plexus. And so we have um, Diana King. So this is that same king. They could be very like shy. You know. And if you're shy, you're not very communicative. No matter how handsome you could be. Because I see all these dapper, divinier kind of brothers. Distinguished brothers. But it doesn't matter. Like men could be shy. Men could be a little, you know. A little uh, intimidated at times, you know. But someone, someone's name could be Diana, as well. Remember, we had Heavy D, and I was picking up a couple of D names. Someone's name could also be Diana. I don't know if I said that before, but someone's shy. And with King, I feel like this is, you know, this could be either the King or this could be the feminine energy, you know. And that could have, you know, because this is how they feel about you, and it could be because, you know, they've watched you grow, you mature. You know, you've gone through some sort of transformation. So you're different, you know. You you have evolved. You know, as I said earlier, like there's a lot of, there's a lot that attracts this person to you. There's a lot that makes you attractive. And this is someone that wants to collaborate and work together. 
What did I say about shadow work? Someone could be doing their shadow. This could be the shadow, um, you know, the shadow work that you and this person could be doing. Um, if this is, in fact, a twin flame union or connection or past life connection, this is why the shadow could be showing up. Because there's a lot of things that's hidden. This is also excavating some of those old emotions, feelings. There's some stuck in stagnancy here as well. So when you are shy, you don't really... Um, emote someone is working through that perhaps you know kind of working out the reasoning behind the shyness like why is it difficult for me to approach someone or express my feelings you know someone is getting tired of like being tired like the sick and tired of being sick and tired is what I heard so why is this seven personal growth some might someone might not have a life like life might be on a standstill it's boring it's almost like I'm hearing it's boring without you you know like someone is missing you or something like that let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is this personal growth here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you. That flew up and out. Finished the shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we got rest and rejuvenate. And I was absolutely picking up, like, you know, solitude, you know, and that type of energy. And look what we have. This flew right back out. So this is how someone feels about you. It says, this, you know, discontent and boredom. So it's like they are, you know, very... Life is boring, you know, life is dull. It's even gloomy, it's dark, it's sad. This person has his head down. So that is a very defeatist body language, like they're defeated, they feel defeated. You know, they're slowly but surely, surely trying to recover from some sort of heartache and loss, but they're still in a very dismal or dark space. And it's it's almost like very uh, symbolic, like not symbolic, but it's almost like contrast to how your showing up in the world because you're like you know this personal growth so you're in the light you know you're like shining you're strong um you you're powerful you know you exude confidence self-love you know wise dome and this person is you know almost a little you know bashful shy diana king is still singing shy so this is someone that could be a little shy you know even you know maybe he's just a little bit uncertain or unsure of himself you know because you just exude all of this this beauty this regalness this purple is just the color of regal and royalty and the seven and the four is eleven so this is that same person that can see you as you know the love of their life because i'm getting the two of cups from that as well you know someone that feels like you know they want to give to you equally you know this is that type of energy maybe there's a decision Maybe this person just needs to take action and choose, you know, choose to, you know, not be in this place of trapped in fear. This is the same body language to me, defeatist, you know, one picture you got your head down, other picture you're grasping your head. And it's like, you know, it's like you, you have to at some point um, lift that head up, you know, you got to keep it pushing because, you know. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So spirit is advising or guiding someone to kind of like, you know, just kind of meditate to get things straight. Ground oneself. You know, find that space of calm, peace. Use your intuition, your first eye to see. You got Roy Ayers, um, the third eye playing. And I say the first eye. Someone's name could be Roy or Ayers. Someone could also be an air sign. That I'm picking up on, but I also get a strong sense of spirit saying, go outside in nature, you know, go sit amongst the trees, go sit, you know, on a path, go sit in the woods, you know, if some of you have the luxury of camping out, go connect with Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth, you know, like even if it's in your own backyard, like connect, you know, because this rejuvenates your spirit, it recharges your batteries. Maybe this is how someone comes to the realization or conclusion you know, that they feel someone is destined for them. Someone is their wish. This six and this four is ten. That's the wheel of fortune. Someone realizes they're fortunate to have bumped into you in this lifetime. Or they are fortunate to have experienced love in the way that they have with you. Because this is someone that is very attracted to you. The six and the four reduces to ten. That's the wheel of fortune. So this is someone that feels this is destined. It's the destiny type of love. But this is also someone who wants to turn things around and someone who ultimately wants to take action. So they're going to come out of this meditative state once they, you know, follow their intuition and they do, you know, what feels right and sits right in their spirit. So why is this sixth love card here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? 
Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. What is the six love card here? Thank you, Spirit. Got a couple of messages. And this is just confirming the song that's playing, the third eye, and then the third eye. So what did I say? Trust your intuition. You know, use use your intuition. And then there goes the transformation card. That's what we said. Got another message here as well. So when it comes to love, what's hidden? As I said earlier, always use your intuition. Use discernment when making decisions when it comes to love. This is just confirming that. I feel there's also someone who could be sending you messages telepathically. Someone who has observed you in this situation. And now they see you as an empress, a goddess, a god, a king, a queen. They see you as someone who they can have some sort of equal exchange of give and take. Or they can, you know, collaborate and, and, and build some sort of partnership with you. That was the three that we just saw with the partnerships and alliances. And they are just drawn to you because of your transformation. This this change has been very inspiring, motivating, and encouraging, unbeknownst to you. It's like they've watched you just blossom into um, this, this amazing, you know, spirit. And it's, it's very, very um, inspiring. And that's why they want to rush towards you. Because I got the three and the four. That's seven, the chariot. And we saw the victories, you know, and success cards. So I do feel like what's hidden is you don't realize that the transformation that you've made, that startling metamorphosis that you've underwent is, you know, bringing wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. I was about to say wish fulfillment and look what we have. Accelerated motion is coming quicker and faster than you can even imagine. This is a shooting star, which means wish fulfillment. It could be emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. But there is something manifesting. You could have set the intention. You know, maybe someone else set the intention. Whatever the case may be, this is something that is coming very quickly in accelerated motion. This is an answer to a prayer. And this is what's hidden in the energy. You know, you may even feel the intensity of this. Maybe during the 8-8 portal, this could have been something that you have been uh, setting the intention on. Or maybe during this last full moon and the uh, eclipse, you could have drew this in, called this in. Whatever the case may be, I definitely feel like this has a lot to do with you being rewarded for going through some sort of transformation. It's like your your wish is being fulfilled. You know, it's like your your angels and your guides are answering um, the prayer. You know, there's an answer to that prayer. This is powerful. And there goes the sun card yet again, the light. So now you can see the truth. You can see beyond the veil. You know, this is beautiful energy of, you know, things coming you know, into alignment, you having clarity, uh, illumination about a situation. This is a fresh start. This also is very indicative of a new beginning, the dawning of a new day. You're on the precipice of a beautiful and exciting time. This is also blessings and answered prayers. Um, this could be even communication. This has a lot to do with the spoken word, what you spoke out into the ethers. And we have right now um, Faith Evans and Carl Thomas. This is Can't Believe. So I do feel like some of you are going to be astounded. Some of you are going to be like shocked and amazed, surprised at this blessing. This is going to bring a lot of happiness. Maybe some positive news, some good news, you know, after. And I'm hearing a settlement. So maybe there will be an, a settlement with the insurance company for some of you that I was picking up had some sort of car accident. Or maybe this is something you have won in the past is a settlement after a car accident. We have new beginnings. Remember, we started the reading and this was on the bottom or we saw this in the split. So the card that flew out is we have the heartache and loss. So this heartache and loss and this health, this has a lot to do with someone up in their head, in their mind about a situation that transpired, you know. And the 71, 8, and the 3, that's 11. And remember, we have the 11 here, 56. So this could have caused someone to really be suffering in silence, someone to really, 
you know, be in a very dismal space, sad place, depressed state, um, kind of up in their head a lot, overthinking, analyzing, um, you know, just kind of trapped in fear, trapped in that victim mentality. Um, and so it was really um, taking a toll perhaps on someone's health. Um, and I feel like having a changed perspective because we have can't believe. So maybe someone couldn't believe that they would get through a difficult um, situation and be able to, you know, survive. Someone's name could be Faith. You know, maybe someone walking in faith is the reason why they were able to overcome. And so now they're, you know, singing their praises. Um, they can't believe what they've overcome and that's why the new beginnings is here because this is like you know taking that leap of faith learning from those trials those battles and you now know you know um how to navigate the world you know this is that energy here i want to get one more card to clarify the 71 health and the three heartache and loss so i do feel someone was really up in their head a lot see that so this just you know and they say like you know pressure buffs pipes you know and this is what we have firm foundation and that's what you were able to establish you had to learn to stand perpendicular on your square you had to learn to be independent because your independence is the foundation for your stability your overall happiness and so on the bottom of the deck the movements and choices so you've had to make some decisions some choices which are going to move and shake things around that's what the two is about choosing look at that another two and another, I mean, another two right there. And then the five. So there's the conflict that you could be feeling internally. You have to use your first side to see so that you could see that there's, you know, your angels, even these little lights, these little, you know, lightning bugs are guiding the way so that you could avoid your pit, certain pitfalls. You don't want to be stuck in two minds because it's a clear um, challenge. It's going to lead to clear challenges. But there are other decisions that you can make that will lead to your success and your stability and this celebration. You know, this, this celebration and all of your victories. You have triumphant success. So this is that fork in the road. You could choose this path where you'll be up in your head ruminating, pining, you know, having these conflicts. Or you could be in your power and follow your gumption, follow your intuition. And charge your head full steam ahead. These three and the three and the one reduces to seven. That is the chariot. And this two, the five, and the two reduces to nine. And that's the nine of uh, swords where you're stuck up in your head. You know, you're already in this place of having fears and anxieties, um, you know, looming over you, you know. And so if you keep on in this state, it goes to nine of swords, which becomes, you know, that energy where now it's 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 affecting your ability to rest through the night and you're waking up in cold sweats or waking up with from nightmares, you know, with with a heavy, heavy heart and a heavy head. Um, what we have right now is Jill Scott, easy conversation. So someone does wish to clear the air. We just saw that triumphant success, the ace of swords which is really about, you know, someone wanting to clear the air, you know, um, to cut to the chase. You know, they want to bring some sort of clarity. They want to express some sort of truth. They want to apologize, perhaps extend an apology. Someone's name could be Jill or Scott, first Miller, last. Someone could be from Philly, Philadelphia. I'm hearing even, um, I'm hearing Pennsylvania. So let's get some additional messages. My nose has been itching like crazy. I don't know if y'all see me scratching my nose like it is just about to fall off. But that's how it be uh, when I be tuning in to the energies. So let's tap in. We're going to get some messages from the awakened soul. And then we're going to pull from the actual tarot deck. So on the bottom of the deck, we have, what does this say? Connection. So connection. And when I see this, I always feel like, you know, this this energy is connecting with the body, you know, so connection is not only just, you know, your external connections with other people. But I feel this is more so kind of stressing the connection to your body, either through yoga, meditation, um, doing mudras, doing mantras, um, reading your basic instruction before leaving Earth, sun gazing, 
grounding. You know, that's the connectivity um, that you have with yourself. Um, but this also could really be uh, speaking to your connections, you know, around you. Um, with easy conversations, I feel like your connections are going to be, um, you know, you're going to have more ease uh, when you discuss certain things. And I have, I feel it has a lot to do with like meeting other like minds coming, um, you know, getting into a space where you're coming around people that think the same way or have similar perspectives and there aren't those um, debates, you know, it's like everybody's on the same kind of page or they're, they're very codified, um, if you will. Um, what we have on the bottom of the deck or on the split, I should say, is we have um, simplicity, which is beautiful. So just the simple things in life, you know, these are things that bring peace, that brings a sense of calm, a sense of happiness. So some of you could be playing, you know, a guitar. Um, maybe that's your happy place. Maybe that's something that brings a lot of, you know, positive emotions and joy into your heart. Um, but just simply strumming those strings to just bring so much peace, so much, you know, so much resolve, so much um, connectedness, love, you know, even. Uh, so let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. Beautiful souls, my spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message. For my beloved Scorpios, clarify these messages. Get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Get a message of peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful angels. I'm hearing one more. Thank you, spirit. And then we're going to cut the deck. So these two cards want to fall out. You see how those... And I'm going to take those. And I'm going to still cut the deck. And I'm going to cut it three times is what I heard. And, uh, and this is an extra message. Okay. And the bottom of the deck we have solitude or solidarity. Wait. Um, sanctuary. Pardon me. <laughs> so we have sanctuary. So this is what you have created. What did I say about you being perceived as someone who has created a protective bubble, like very guarded, very protective of your energy, as you should be, you know, as you should be. So we're clarifying 56, relationship change, 8, trapped in fear for the overall energy. And the cards that we have is the first card we have is we have shapeshifter. So this is what you have perhaps watching and observing you. That's perhaps the reason why the relationship changed because you could have sensed someone's um disingenuous likeness you you just you could sense that someone was always like you know kind of never um solid you know they never stood on their square it was always like changing their perspective or changing something this caused a lot of confusion because this is this is like almost i, I guess someone very deceptive you know, because when you're a shapeshifter, like you can become anything, um, you know, you could kind of blend in amongst the crowd. And this is something that you could have um, discovered. And that's why you got away from that energy. You made a decision to get away from that energy because this energy is causing a lot of confusion. And someone is really trapped in a place of fear because perhaps these are the tricks and the mind games that this person may have put on that person. The next card we have to clarify is we have release. So that's confirming what I said. The relationship changes you letting this energy go. You know, whoever this shapeshifter was that could have been causing you a lot of mental anguish, stress, confusion, had you second guessing and in two minds, you know, because they were manipulating you. This could have been a very manipulative, envious type of person, competitive even. You release them. You know, you let them go. And I feel it's because you started to listen to your intuition. You know, maybe your angels and your guides were kind of like giving you some messages, maybe through dreams, maybe certain downloads. And the next message we have is surrender. So you could have been trying to control the narrative or control the situation. And spirit was like, you know, you have to release it in order to see your way clear. Something you have to let something go. You, it's in, it's important for you to let whatever this is go unless, you know, you want to stay stuck and stank, stagnant or anchored. So you had to release in order to let it go. And this is very powerful. 
this is very very powerful and i feel the moment that you did release it and let it go that's when you could take that giant leap forward that's when you could you know move forward to the next phase and stage what you have here on the bottom of the deck the sanctuary we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you so we see here with the eight manifestation and awareness your sanctuary is a place that you don't allow everyone to come to it's almost like i said you're in seclusion you know if you look she's surrounded by water and trees so you may live in a space like the mountains or by a lake away from all of the hustle and bustle and the car exhaust and noise and you know it's like you're in a very quiet place this is a place where you can really connect to your higher self and study and and heal internally and it's a very it's just a healing space for you and this is a place that you you know very rarely have guests or very rarely invite people in because this is your safe space you know so i feel like that's how and where you you know do a lot of your magic as well which is why you're also very protective of this space you know because you treat your space like your sanctuary this is like your safe haven so when you you know treat your space in that manner you don't allow a lot of people in that space because it's very sacred so that could be the way you may um you know the way you are with your home so let's tap in why is eight manifestation and awareness here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them and get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit At the bottom of the deck we have um grounding so this is the card that's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we pull how the person or what you're attracting to you feel about you and i did say you had a very grounding and very loving tender energy we have maze the look in your eyes playing so someone is very mesmerized perhaps by your eyes maybe you have very penetrating eyes maybe you you smile when you look at them that's like your eyes smiling <laughs> you know if you look at this card she's just kind of gazing some of you may have blue eyes gray eyes some hazel colored or light colored eyes someone really loves your eyes you're very grounding so like i said very very much a safe space and what we have here that flew out is we have knowledge so what you're attracting to you is knowledge so as i said earlier you know building your wealth of knowledge studentship you know that's a scholarly energy some of you could be in school again you could be studying under you know some healer a shaman a light worker going through a rites of passage or going through some sort of initiation i feel like you're exploring and expanding you know even you know what you're learning like you could be learning new things outside of your norm this is like you're in your you're creating your reality you know when you shift your consciousness it's like it's 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 like it's creating your reality you're shaping your reality and we have rebirth so your transformation is now um, what has led to you becoming a, a master manifester. This rebirth, this this metamorphosis that you have you have experienced, you've emerged like this very spiritually um, strong uh, person. You know, this is like someone that you're attracting to you who is who is very much. A spiritual practitioner but this is something the two of you share in common the next card we have is boundaries so what did I say guarded got to protect your peace and you also have to protect yourself from you know these these external forces because you got the shapeshifter you know you do have people watching you do have people looming which is what I feel you can pick up on intuitively because you are you know, you you are a master manifester and a, you know, a, a magi, you know, an alchemist in your own right. So you could feel and sense, you know, energy and you could feel and sense, you know, when people are, you know, have ill intention. And so you've established boundaries. You've established some fiery, impenetrable wall and force field shield of protection. And this is what you are working on manifesting, is protecting your peace. That's why that sanctuary card was there. How someone feels about you is they definitely feel like you're home. You're like the home. You're like the hearth. We have a tribe called Quest, so they see that you've been on a journey. 
and we got scenarios. So this is someone that does want to communicate or tell you, you know, a part of the story, you know, that you may not be privy to. But this person has some hesitation in doing this. A lack of self-confidence even. You know, this is a divine masculine because we did have that um, song that was saying Mr. Shy Guy when this when we was pulling this energy. So this is someone who could be shy. You know, but we have, you know, with scenario, they may want to tell you another part of the story that you may not be privy to. And this is that seven and that four eleven. This is someone who, you know, is trying to make a decision perhaps on how to present this story. You know, they do feel like you're a safe space, which is, you know, perhaps the one thing that's kind of like motivating them. They see you as someone very grounded, very loving, maternal, you know, just just someone who's very earthy. I was picking up on that energy, you know, with the Around the Way Girl by LL Cool J. And then he's from Queen, so I was picking up. That's how they see you, as a queen, as a king. And then Diana King came out, and I was saying there was a suit. You know, this is like a cosmic companion or someone you're destined to be with. Because we saw a lot of tens, which is associated with the... Um, with that wheel of fortune. So divine spirit. Thank you, spirit. All right. We're going to let that one fall too. So what we have here and we have cleanse. And this is for when we pull the card for what's hidden in the energy. So someone is, you know, cleaning, clearing, and cleansing out their lives, you know. And we see that clearly because they have this transformation card here. So they're going through a, a, a you know, a spiritual cleanse, if you will. But the card that flew out for how someone feels about you is we have rescue. See that? This is like they could feel like they want you to rescue them because I just get a strong sense of this being their energy. And if they see you as someone who's personally grown, they feel like you can just like revitalize them. Just the mere touch, your voice, your energy is just very revitalizing. They feel like they're drowning, you know, and they just I'm hearing rescue me by Tedra Moses. Someone could be from Louisiana. Someone can definitely just desire you to, you know, save them. They want you to save them. Maybe they feel like they want to rescue you. Maybe they feel like you are kind of stuck in a place where you, you're you kind of not really taking action or, you know, you don't have a lot of spontaneity or adventure. And maybe this is someone that just kind of wants to rescue you from a life of 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 boredom and stagnation or you know just being con contempt content with you know nothing and not saying you don't have nothing but just content with doing the same old routine you know this is someone that want to kind of take you out of your comfort zone if you will but the card that flew out is we have um, gratitude. Oh, that's beautiful. Because I was speaking to, you know, gratitude. Having that attitude of gratitude. Being thankful, you know, for what you have. What you've been able to accomplish. What you've been able to survive and come out of. You know? So this person is very much, you know, you could be someone very blissed to find a lot of feathers. You have a lot of love around you. A lot of ancestors. And you have meaning. You have a reason to be thankful. You have a reason... To be in that attitude of gratitude. You know, like I said, you know, you've grown per like spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. So this personal growth has just shown your maturation where you come out of a state of being like a victim and just, you know, being in a, a attitude of gratitude where you're speaking out, you know, those daily mantras and 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 um giving gratitude, giving you know, offerings even, you know, paying homage to the ancestors, to Mother Gaia. Giving offerings to Mother Gaia as well. Like there, there is this, you know, a circulation, you know, of love. A rotation of love. And you feel the love in return. And someone is very much aware, you know, that you have a very healing heart and healing ability. And they want to be rescued. You know, they, they want they, they want to be, you know, in your good graces. You know, they feel... The sense of like you can you could save them, you know, you could save them almost. And we have um, 
Grand Puba. This is called Soul Controller. Soul. And when I see that soul, I'm just hearing soul mate. So this is someone, like I said, that feels like you're destined. I see 1111 on the board automatically when I look. Um, but with this cleanse, someone's absolutely like clean, clearing, and cleansing you know, out their lives, going through some sort of startling metamorphosis, things are shifting. We got the three and the four, that's seven. So that is like the chariot. There are victories and success. There are wish fulfillments coming true. Blessings. The seven and eight is 15, that's six. So there is, again, you know, some sort of, you know, forward movement. There's something coming in. I'm seeing the six of wands because all of these cards, the six and six, 12, that's three, 13, that's four, that's seven, seven and eight. This eight is 15. So that's the devil. So that's what you're clearing out of your life. You know, all of that shadow energy, that dark energy, you know, all of that fugazi energy, someone watching you with envy and jealousy and contempt in their heart. It's like you're cleaning all of that out of your house, out of your life. You're clearing your space. You know, you could be even getting rid of things, throwing things away. You could be just, you know, really doing your due diligence to reinforce, you know, the energy in your home. So you could be, you know, mopping and smudging your floors, cleansing, you know, with your uh, smudge kits. You could be wiping your windows down with like Florida water, um, you know, doing floor washes as well. So there's there you could be going through some sort of um, cleansing routine um, just to purify your space. So why is this six uh, love, six third eye? 13, transformation, 8, uh, accelerated motion here for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. My, thank you. Okay. And the bottom of the deck we have, my nose is itching like crazy, and this is forgiveness. So you can see she's letting this bird free, and this is not just any bird. That's like, you know, the, the phoenix, because he's like, you know, he looks very phoenix, phoenix to me you know the phoenix rises from the ashes and as you can see she had him trapped in a cage so that could be very much the very def definition of you know like a prison you know and someone has you know has forgiven another person for having them feel trapped whether that's mentally imprisoned you know, forgiveness is always for you. It's never for the other person. I always say that the apology, you know, is up to you and whether you will accept it because that's all, you know, subjective. Does it feel authentic? Does it feel real? If do you see change behavior? If yes, then you can accept it. But this is also dealing with compassion, you know, being forgiving and non-judgmental just shows your level of compassion here. And the card that's on the bottom of the deck is we have family. So this is a little of the reason why. Maybe this is someone who is a part of your family, whether it be a distant relative or someone you could have co-created life with. Um, that is the reason why we should give everyone grace because none of us are perfect. We're all here to learn. We have 10 beats, 10 minutes, and this is by um, the Black Thought from The Roots. And so when I think of the roots and black thought, the roots deals with your root chakra, which is, you know, the first chakra, the base chakra, which is scorpionic energy that deals with rebirth, death, life, transformation. We see that even in the reading. So this is really showing that you've gone through a lot. The 10 beats and 10 minutes reference also shows that you've gone through cycles. You know, you've completed karmic cycles, learned karmic lessons. And so when you get to the 10, that just means every ending is now showing shifting you into a new beginning, which is what we saw when we first touched the cards. So the card that flew out is we have sensuality. And what would I what was I saying about someone finding you very intriguing, very attractive? You know, we do have the love here. So this is someone who has some memories, you know, they they not only have memories, but this is someone who is now seeing you you know, in this light, because I feel like they didn't always see you as someone very sensual or sexual, you know, or intriguing. Uh, but it's like now it's like they're looking at you in a whole new light. And it has a lot to do with, you know, the transformation. Um, you've emerged someone more confident and you exude um, 
you know, this, this, you know, beauty, this love, this self-love, which makes you more attractive. The next card we have is Labyrinth. And what did I say about a, a maze almost? You know, this is like what this person has felt because it was what hidden. What's hidden is this is the journey, you know, trying to find the way out, trying to find, you know, the way through. And so this wasn't very easy. This was a very daunting experience. But someone does finally, you know, find their way to freedom. Um, and a lot of it had to do with like, you know, maybe even, you know, changing their own thought processes, belief systems, um, maybe having the death of a certain, you know, ideology even or some change perspective has also, um, you know, freed them, you know, because this cage could also be very indicative of the mind as well. Uh, the next uh, song we have is Babylon. Um, oh, no. I just did the same thing. All right. Sorry, y'all. I just closed out <laughs> the playlist and I got to do it for the third time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So Casa Overall. This is called Got Me a Plan. Okay. So Casa Overall. So I think overall what this person is going to do is they, they got them a plan now. You know, now that they're free, maybe they was trapped in another situation, another relationship, or was trapped mentally, as we saw, because someone was doing shadow work, and now they're free, so now they have them a plan, because remember, I was picking up someone is strategizing, planning, and preparing, and so we have CASA overall, you know, they got them a plan, so this is what's hidden is, you know, you know the outcome is someone is going to take action, because this bird, birds represent, like, communication, someone could be reaching out, communicating, with a 71 is eight and um the three is eleven that's two the four is six so this could be that you know that person that wants to take action this could be even some communication because you could have moved away so the card that flew out is we got grounding i can't make this up so the same energy flew out so the outcome is grounding so someone wants to ground the connection this is someone that wants to take the time to heal this connection to repair it they have a plan to you know to kind of get out of this space because you know now they are feeling more confident with this firm foundation they want to lay the foundation for this connection so it's like they want to rebuild, you know, they want to rebuild, you know, this is potentially someone from the past. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. This says um, desire. And what was that saying? Someone that feels you're destined. This is someone that has a lot of passion, you know, and desire because I was seeing that one between this eight and 56. And that's a very felicious number. Someone really desires you and they have a plan to get you back according to Casa overall. They do see you as a boss, as a leader. Some of you all may be, you know, kind of like in the spotlight. You may have, um, you know, a platform where you, you know, you may be watched. This person may be watching you, but they see you as a leader, as a boss. You know, you also are very protective of your energy. So you do have like, you know, um, a protective bubble around you. So this is powerful. So let's pull some cards from the um, dark grimoire. So we have justice on the bottom of the deck. So someone does want justice. Someone wants to kind of, you know, balance the scales. And we do have that 56 relationship change. Some of you all, this could be someone that you've had a divorce from. This could be an ex. You know, maybe this is someone who is just seeking, um, you know, to to um, balance things out. And we can see clearly you're not interested. You can see how she's not buying what he is selling. And this is the eight of chalices. And that's the same energy I was picking up. When you love yourself, you are not going to deal with any fugazi energy. You're not going to be pouring into someone constantly if they're not pouring into you. So you're not interested in any type of salesman or someone coming around wasting your time. You don't learn. You know, you from the past and you're moving on um, and someone is still very adamant on coming at you, you know, like now they're trying to love bomb you and now they're going to. So it's like you're you're not even interested. Remember, we had that surrender card that showed up. So let's tap in because maybe, you know, who or what you're attracting to you. This is what they're desiring is that you surrender. We have OGC and this is called Hurricane Strange and we just had. A couple of hurricanes, um, just back to back. Helene, Helene, you know, to all of my Floridians and Georgians and, you know, North Carolinians. I'm just sending y'all powerful energy, you know, because those hurricanes, you know, there were a lot of losses, a lot of deaths. There's people who are still 
reported missing. So I'm just sending you peace, power, and protection, beautiful souls. For anyone who may have been affected, I'm sending you that love and light. All right, so Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Maybe some of you all are from New Orleans because I'm hearing Hurricane Katrina victims, survivors, you know. So, okay, thank you, Spirit. So this is clarifying um, the energy of the overall energy. And we have the Queen of Cups. So this is your energy. Scorpio's coming right out of the gate. So who um, you have here for the overall energy and what's on the bottom of the deck, there goes the hangman that I referenced for who or what you're attracting to you. That's what's on the bottom of the deck. So they are looking at you in a different perspective. But this queen of cups, you definitely took your power back. I feel like you walked away from a situation um, because of the simple fact that you realize that you were dealing with someone who was not being authentic, not being honest, and you being very intuitive was able to see through the illusion. If you look at the back of this queen's, uh, you know, um, throne, she has an eye. You know, this is like an evil eye. So you could see through the illusions that the shapeshifter was trying to paint. You know, you could, she's watching you, but you're watching her watch you, you know, and if I put it like this, you're watching her watch you, you know, just because your head isn't turned this way doesn't mean you don't see her, you know, so you are highly intuitive, very much into the occult. And this person um, was being very sneaky, you know, they were kind of trying to conceal their, their um, intentions, but you were able to see right through that. And that's why you were able um, to free yourself. Like you were able to be free from this situation. You were like no longer being stuck. You know, you moved away from what wasn't serving your highest good. And I feel like that's why now someone is seeing you in a whole new light or someone is definitely getting some fresh perspective. Someone could have been under the influence of drugs, drinking, prescription pills, you know, maybe even mental illness or they had some sort of codependency on some of the aforementioned and that's another reason why boundaries were established um you know because you learned that you had to protect your peace this is the new you emerging you know with that rebirth you emerge someone new because you learned the lessons you know you learned the lessons and you made it your business to you know really evolve your way of thinking and you tapped into your Christ consciousness and that awareness was born, you know. So this fresh perspective, this is spirit literally forcing someone to look at things from a different perspective. It's a sacrificial position nonetheless. Um, so why is this eight manifestation, awareness, knowledge, rebirth? And boundaries here for who or what my beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. And there goes the nine. Remember, I mentioned the nine of cups. And there you have the nine of cups. So someone does see you as a wish fulfillment. They also see you as someone who loves you, yourself, and you. So you're self-disciplined. You're not just over-compromising. You're not overextending yourself. But you're taking care of you, prioritizing you, and loving yourself more importantly. And that's why you have the boundaries. Because you realize that self-love is the best love. And when someone observes you loving yourself with that amount of respect, they know they have to come in correct and also match your energy. What we have here is the M, the, um, I'm sorry, what is that? That is the nine of wands energy. So this nine of wands, this is the boundaries that I was picking up earlier. Cause when you think of the nine of wands, that is like that person who is, has established like this wall so that no one could come through. And this is how they feel about you. This is the card that's on the bottom of the deck when I pull the energy. So they do feel like you have walls up, you're guarded, you're very protective of your energy. I was picking that energy up from the seven with the personal growth. Like you just learn to, you know, establish those boundaries to, you know, set up a wall to protect your peace and your your, you know, you know, your safe space, you know, your sanctuary, create a sanctuary for yourself. And that's how you were able to, you know, have this gratitude because now you're more thankful. You know, now you can see, um, you know, the ways in which you are blessed and what you have to be thankful for outside of what you may have experienced. And so this nine of wands is someone now realizing, um, you know, that they are on the outs with you. What we have playing right now is we have Jay Dilla loving you so we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you and jay dilla rising power someone could be from detroit um but this is someone who realizes that they love you because it says loving you so they were trying to deny it 
you know, they were definitely trying to deny it. And, um, you know, they can no longer deny this. They, they can no longer hide these feelings. Thank you, spirit. So the card that we have that flew out is we have the king of swords. So they're no longer going to deny it. And they're going to finally say how they feel. The sword is up, which means communication is coming. So this person is finally going to take action and express what they're feeling or express that they, you know, they really do have this love for you. You know, because this is what we have here with the um, rescue. You know, they, they definitely may express something to you. And you're going to feel very thankful. You know, it's like you're, you're going to feel loved, you know. And maybe you are the one that's kind of discontent and bored because you're kind of in your routine, you know, kind of lacking that work-life balance. So you could be the one that's kind of discontent and bored. Maybe this is how they perceive you. Or maybe this is this person's energy you're attracting to you. They're finally going to say, you know what, right now is the time. And I'm going to say how I feel. Like I said, someone could be from Detroit. Someone's name could start with J. And we have um, the Two of Swords here. So they're making a decision See the two of swords, they could be really trying to make a decision, but it's not the, the easiest decision. You know, it's like they don't know which way to turn, which action to take, but they are still very much drawn to you. So they're trying to choose wisely and they could be, you know, when they do come, it could be considered a wish fulfillment. Like I said, someone may see you as their ideal person. So let's tap in. Why is this six love, the six, uh, third eye, 13 transformation, eight accelerated motion sensuality and labyrinth here and we have the star what did i say this person sees you as wish fulfillment the star is also you know saying that your prayers are being answered we already had the eight manifestation this is coming unexpectedly this is coming as a reward you know this is something that you have set the intention and we also have the fool someone could be wanting a fresh start someone could be manifesting this new beginning wanting you to take the leap of faith the card that flew out is we have the strength card so what's hidden is someone is absolutely mustering up their strength because they do want to take action they do want to express something this is someone who is you know perhaps facing their own demons this is definitely an energy of someone who is very much <clears throat> getting stronger <clears throat> so the star card this is confirming those wishes those dreams those answers to your prayers or you sending up those prayers and petitions or setting your intention. You definitely are in balance. You've turned those vulnerabilities into, you know, superpowers. And this is you harnessing that power. Why is the 71 health, the three heartache and loss, the four farm foundation and grounding here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, my beautiful angels. And we have on the bottom of the deck the Six of Cups. Didn't I tell you something from the past? This is that person daydreaming, reminiscing, overthinking. So the card that flew out for who or what you're attracting to, you, or the outcome rather, is you have this Queen of Pentacles. And remember, we got the grounding card. So that's just double confirmation. So you are seen as someone as that's very stable, very independent, very self-sufficient. Someone grounded, you know, someone who's very nurturing, very domestic, you know, very loving. You're, you're someone who doesn't want for anything. But this is someone that absolutely, you know, wants to establish a very solid foundation with you. So this is someone willing to set the foundation together. So this is someone willing to be supportive willing to have your back your middle your front i feel there's a lot of hurt and pain you know that this person may stay stuck in because they're kind of reminiscing thinking back what's underneath that is we have the queen of wands and then we have the justice so someone is trying to contemplate the actions to take here Someone is definitely trying to figure out which action to take with the Six of Pentacles. Someone could be reminiscing on something that took place in the past. I do feel justice is in someone's getting their just due. I do feel that. I feel like there's something uh, turning in someone's favor. And we have Lords of the Underground. This is someone that was kind of, you know, in seclusion, as I said earlier, or isolation. With Lords of the Underground, someone who's like real low key. And with Chief Rocker, I do feel like this is someone who's a leader 
or they could see you as a leader, as a boss. They're definitely feeling a lot of this fire and desire. And remember the leadership card showed up and we have Lords of the Underground Chief. And I just said Chief. So this person could be watching you. I don't know if some of you all sing or if you do, you know, kind of disseminate information. They are tuning in and tapping in. I feel like I want to end it there, but then I feel like I have some more to say. So let's get some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Oh, I love it. So financial freedom is on the bottom of the deck success. And we did see that energy earlier uh, when I was shuffling. So I did see, you know, some beautiful cards speaking to prosperity. Um, we saw the victories and success. We saw victories, you know, so I do feel like there are some answered prayers, some wish fulfillments that are coming to, through for you all. You got the accelerated motion. Um, you also had you know, the card that showed that you were getting, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment, some blessings, you know, and I always feel like, you know, when you um, have that transformation card, it's spirit rewarding you for transforming. So that's a beautiful energy. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit, let's get a message for the overall energy. So we have rare breed, black sheep, misunderstood, Mr. Understood. So that's what you are like. You realize that you, you know, had to, you know, love and appreciate yourself. All of you, your authentic version of you, whether other people understood, understood you or not, you had to love you. So that's the very um, first step. You know, self-love is, is an inside job. And when you started to practice that self-love, that's what, you know, other people started to appreciate um, was that you were rare, that you're different, you know, you're unique, you're mysterious, you know, you're you're just a, a huge question mark, you know, it's like, who is this person? And you radiate love and light, so shine bright. So this is what they see, this is what they were mesmerized, and this is what they started to miss, you know, they started to miss these very things, these very characteristics and attributes that they managed to take for granted, they now realize they miss it, and that's the agony you know, and the the regret, you know, and the guilt um, that they see are seen feeling here. So the next um, card, what we have on the bottom of the deck, Mama Oshun, beauty, love, attraction, you sexy thing. I told you they were definitely attracted to you, drawn to you. But when you set boundaries and set up these walls um, and they don't have that same access to you, that could drive a mug crazy, which is why they have been like, you know, grabbing their head. And, you know, the body language is very defeated because you now are owning you know, your power, which means you're exuding all of this confidence and this beauty, which is making you more attractive. And when you know your worth and value, you walk away from people, places and things that do not. And that helps you manifest quicker. That helps you manifest, period. And that's why your scene is very attractive. So let's clarify what is who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. Let's clarify these messages, spirit. Thank you, spirit. I love it. And so we have frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that. So that's what you got. I told you you're going to have some haters, but you're also going to have other people that really genuinely care about you. And then we have child's play and it says immaturity. So who are what you're attracting to you? You're way too wise for the child's game, you know, with the knowledge of self that you've been able to obtain and the fact that you, you know, have set up these boundaries. That means that you are very clear um, on what your, you know, standards are, you know, what you are willing to put up with and what you aren't. And you're establishing the boundaries, which means you're making it very clear that you don't do any of this. You don't do any of the child's play. You ain't, you don't do any of the fugazi, the fake, you don't do any of that. So that's why you are establishing these boundaries because you already love yourself. This is self-discipline. You're pouring into yourself. You're speaking into your libation, your cup, which is your positive words of affirmation. Water is very ancient. It's alive and it's intelligent. So whatever you speak into that bottle of water or that cup of water is what you could also manifest. We have she loves me, she loves me not. And it says games mix signal. And this is how someone may feel about you. 
You know, they they may feel you see this in them, you know, very well, which is why you could have established the boundaries and walked away. But they realize that they, you know, you can see right through them with the seven that deals with your first eye or your crown rather. So they know that you are highly intuitive, but also that you can see through the games and through the illusions. And this could even be your energy and why you were willing to cut them off because you don't have time for the okie doke. And so now that they know that, that's the reason why they could be a little hesitant or a little fearful and trying to muster up the strength to come towards you but let's see what the cards have to say so thank you spirit that was fast bottom of the deck jealousy is a sickness hater alert you do got some folks hating you so what it says is reinvent yourself new wardrobe hairstyle some of you all could have just done that some of you could have cut your hair some of you just look like a brand new you and this is making you even more attractive to this person because maybe that haircut suits you or maybe that hairstyle suits you or maybe that weight loss looks good on you maybe that new vehicle maybe that new side of town whatever it is you're doing new because this reinvention is the new you and we have the new beginning so you are coming out and stepping out into the world like a new version of yourself unapologetically and some folks is hating they're jealous it's a sickness they're mad at you because they ain't you and this is like you're unbothered by any of that because you are fully aware of you know the sickness that's out here but you don't let it stop you from keep on pushing so you do have some haters you do have some folks that you are fully aware of um, exist in your cipher or in your surroundings I should say not even in your cipher you're aware of their you know intentions of their nastiness and you facing every single one of them demons and calling them exactly what they are to their face you know it's like you are not scared you ain't running none of that you're telling them exactly like a ti is so what's hidden in the energy let's clarify that message please get a message of peace power and protection for my scorpios and then we're gonna wrap it up thank you spirit finish my shuffle Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have Feather. Remember, we saw this card here, and I was picking up some of you could be finding feathers. This is also a sign that you are protected by your angels. It says protection and love from your guardian angels. So your angels are around you. If you do have some hating ass folk, jealous folk, envious folk around you, they are protecting you. But you also have some secret admirers. Someone wants to get to know you better because they're digging you. That's another TLC reference, digging on you. So someone could be from Georgia. Someone could have lived in Georgia. Someone's name could be Georgia. Someone's name could be Tion. Someone's name can be Rosanda. Someone's name could be Lisa Lopez, first, middle, or last. As I said, someone could be from Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, but we do have uh, the um, Day for Everybody, Commitment for Wandering Eyes, and then you have this energy of someone digging on you. So you have new people and old folks trying to come back, wasting your time. And that's why I feel like you had to make a choice or there was a decision or something that you are going to have to um, choose. You know, that's why we saw that card earlier with the two of swords, the two of minds. And I was breaking that down that you're going to have to use your intuition. Even the cards came out and said third eye because they want to stress the importance of not going with your emotions, but perhaps using logic using you know your intuition trusting what you're feeling but you have someone that is definitely um, just a player you know a player someone trying to waste your time and trying to dupe you and your angels and guides are telling you just trust your intuition what's underneath that we have crying is a form of power allow yourself to feel and release what no longer speaks to your soul and then we have basic instructions before leaving earth seeking higher knowledge and remember we did pull the knowledge card so some of you all are um, reading your basic instructions before leaving earth you could be in the Psalms some of you all could be really just just kind of reading those scriptures maybe you're listening to uh, the prayers at night while you rest so let's get one more message for the outcome and then we're going to wrap it up so you do have someone that's a secret admirer that wants to get to know you remember we did have shy um, guy playing earlier it could be a, a female as well um, and we have who is this we have de la soul so they, I think because you're in that De La Soul, me, myself, and I energy, that nine energy, because um, we did start the reading with the nine energy, is that's what's making you more attractive. You know, the fact that you are very guarded, you have boundaries, you you are loving yourself, you are protecting your energy. You know, with the business, you're handling your business, you're minding your business, you're in your zone, and that's why you're leveling up and growing and evolving. You know, so why is that? What is the outcome? What is the oh? 
It says laughter is contagious. So I love that. So they see the lightheartedness in you. Because I was picking up even with, you know, that um, round the way girl reference that you was very down to earth, very approachable. You could be someone that really laughs a lot. You know, and laughter is contagious. We got as the world turns. So this is like my rendition of the world card. And so this says um, experience, perspective, understanding, knowledge of self, spiritual alignment, and wise dome. These are all the things you acquire. And you can see the sun, moon, and stars here along with the world. So this just speaks to you leveling up, you know, reaching that level of self-mastery, which is what we saw. Hi, friend, do. Hi. So laughter is contagious. I think spirit really, look what we have here. Happy house, happy spouse. I feel like you're going to have a lot of people kind of keeping eyes on you, tabs on you, because it says I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I just get that past person, like someone, you know, kind of past person, just a little, yep, single black female. You might have somebody that's a stalker, you know, someone stalking you, someone's really just like obsessed with you. And it says, every evil eye that's watching goes blind. So you are protected. We did see the 333 earlier, which is the Ascended Masters. So you do have that, that protection. I do feel like this connection that you are coming into alignment with, whoever this person is, that you have a lot of synergy and chemistry with. I feel like that is you know, a connection that your angels and your guides are aligning you with, especially with all this desire and fire. And, you know, I kept hearing like, you know, destined and uh, destined, you know, destiny type of love as well. So this is a very powerful message. I wanted to bless you all with a bonus. I hope this message resonates. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat asheo. Peace.